Hey guys, Dire Meek here, and welcome back to a new series on Grounded. I know it's been a while, you know, I think about two weeks, I, I got a job, so I'm happy about that. But we're going to be getting straight into this. Grounded, such a great game. Get jump scared by spiders, other insects, and many other things, and you know, exploring with my friends. But we're going to have like the first two episodes of just building up for where we left off. And we'll also be bringing back some funny moments that happened in the previous playthrough that we were going to... Let's get straight into this, and I hope you guys enjoy. Hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe as you see fit. Let's get it. You can't run from me, you foul beast! <laughs> you think you outsmarted me? The mighty Muldoon? I don't think so, Yoke's Girth! Stay tuned for what happens next on Yoke's Girth. Now a word from our sponsor. Kids, are you ready for a new wild and wacky Puncho fruit flavor? Introducing what Albert is Albert this? So stop by, fill up, and make sure you get your Billy Hog hot dog before you get away. Good morning, Brook Hollow. Today is October 20, 1990. This is your news. We have a special breaking report. The police department has released information that more local teenagers have gone Yo. missing. They were last seen earlier this week, and the only connection between the Yo. teenagers is that they are all students at Brook Hollow High School. This could be linked to the disturbing trend of other possible abductions and missing teenagers from our otherwise quiet town. If anyone has seen the teenagers or has any other information, please contact the police department. The mayor of Brook Hollow has put a curfew into effect for anyone under 18 starting tonight. Now to other news. In the business world, Omnit Practical Technology signs a new deal with... Bro. I knew this game had potential, but what? Dropped in the suitcase. Ain't no way. Damn. Where am I? Are those roots? Nah, <laughs> can't be. Dude. This must be one of those those prank TV shows. <laughs> All right, be cool, Max. You're gonna be famous. Okay, they still got some frame issues, but this is crazy. Hey, buddy. Clocks now? No, no, no. This isn't looking good, Max. Honestly, dude, hold up. Let me. Ah, uh, third person. Do they have fourth person now? Ah, no, they don't. Well, uh, let me do my intro. Hey guys, Dire Meek here. Ladybug Max, through. chill out. I'm trying to do my intro. Hey guys, Dire Meek here, and today we're on Grounded. This is uh something I actually been waiting for for a very, very long time to come out. And I wasn't expecting it to come out now, but I saw it yesterday and I was... Signal detected. Oh, that's cool. What was that? Some sort of radio signal? I wonder where it's coming from. And I... I, I was like... It's a speedy little green I was corva. playing this game for so, such a very long time, you know, learning things about it, and how to quickly do... I got a small speed run type thing with my friends. So, I think what I'm gonna do is build up to what we had before. I had a, like a lot of recordings and stuff, but I won't be using it, but I'll just be using like the shorts and funny moments that happen. And I want you guys to like, you know, enjoy as, this game as much as I am. And this will be an ongoing series. And for now, ARC will be uh, postponed for this. Because, you know, I, I see a lot of people getting bored of ARC and I don't blame them. 
It's honestly, Ark is still, still such a cool game in my heart, but we're gonna still have to go between it. All the rocks are moving. What the, it has to be a lady, but it can't be well, anything special. Someone had to have set up all this sciencey stuff here. Big facts, man. But still, I'm not exactly sure where this is and what is going on. I should keep looking around. Agreed, Max. Agreed. Look, I can actually skip through this, but I want to enjoy this as much as possible. And we only can scan three things at a time, and it's best to just, you know, grab every single thing that you see. You know, just just to just to be prepared for the next and every good thing. Look for more science equipment. Wow, what is that? It all makes sense now. Spars, sp spat, spacks. Okay, I'm not gonna pronounce that. Okay, so uh, we gotta craft ourselves a pebble axe. Can you stop blinking? Oh. Okay, get that out of my ear. And it's still in there. All right, so let's craft ourselves a pebble axe, and we just need needles for the other thing. We're actually gonna click this button to see what it does. Showtime. <laughs> just like laser tag. Honestly, dude. Nothing happened. Looks like the other two lasers are blocked. After all that build up, this big mysterious computer doesn't do anything. Man. All right, next we just gotta unblock this thing right here. Ha! Ha! Nice. We're actually gonna play through all of this. I actually want to see like potential speed run methods I could do. That would be actually pretty sick. And. You know, just to talk to you guys while I'm doing this, it's gonna be, even though not a lot of people are gonna be watching my stream, uh, I don't expect people to be watching my stream, but for the people that are watching my videos, we are gonna be taking it easy for a bit because I recently got a job and I needed to get into a custom of having the job, which I'm actually extremely happy about, but I can't do videos like I used to. But once I get used to it, expect everything to be the same. Like, games like this makes me have a passion again to play it. And I'm so happy that this is here. And something new. And I really want to play Apex, but... You know. It's a BR game. It's pretty fun at times, but... I really don't want to have to explain it. But uh, let's, let's get straight into like, building an axe. Uh, not an axe, a spear. Let's make three spears, and I think I want to... Oh, we don't have it learned yet. I think we should have uh, enough to research something to get a torch. We need a torch to go into that cave. And if you guys can see, it's a lot smoother to play third person, and I think it's a lot better. It, it feels a lot better to play in third person. Okay, we got a lamp, but we got level two brain. You unlock stuff by leveling up your brain power. That's actually pretty cool. Um, did we learn the torch? Yes, we did. Nice. And then we got the torch. Let's start heading over here. Uh, the other thing that we have to deal with is just mites. And sometimes they have a spawn of a stink bug, I think. The last time I played, we had to deal with a stink bug. But hopefully this time we don't have to deal with it. <laughs> it, it was a really scary situation. Like I, I screamed on the top of my lungs. And these things look different. Yeah, they look a lot different than what they used to look like. What's up, bro? You look more... Oh, no. They look more realistic. What do they do? I think the only other thing that I am scared of while playing by myself to catch up to where we were, were with my friend is uh killing the wolf spider because we killed two wolf spiders and that was uh, a regrettable experience. I need to find the clip and make a YouTube short out of it because it was funny as fuck. If I <laughs> yeah, it was it was pretty cool. Uh, what is cool about the other things Take cool that, about this game is you can hold up the torch while having your spear. Looks like that little red thing is for a fight. And we're just gonna keep moving forward on this. 
Ow. Wait, can you guys not double team me like that? Ouch. Oh, uh, let's craft that. Get that going and pull out our torch. There you go. Actually, I think we're missing something. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. No, no, no. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. Oh, that one thing that I'm thinking of, uh, pebble hammer, sprig. And if you guys don't know, the best way to get plant fibers is actually cutting down the grass with your hatchet and then cutting down the very bottom stems. Whoa, look at the size of that ant. Honestly, I'm just glad it's not big enough to squish me. Agreed, bro, agreed. But why are you going in here? <gasps> Show me the way, my friend. Thank you, my brother. At least I didn't lose all my stuff. Dude, there's so many. Yeah, get crapped on. Dog water. All right, let's craft a thing now. Uh, we need crude rope. There we go. Make that. Switch over to this and start going at it. Two, three. Let's collect all of this. So, what's beyond this thing over here is actually pretty something interesting. And whenever we get it, it's gonna help us out throughout the game, and we have to collect multiple of them. I know some people must have actually played this game before and know what I'm talking about. But it is. Let me go. What the First heck? person. Is something burrowing under there? Yes, that's important. Oh, they, you get this early? Oh, <gasps> wait, never mind. It's level two now. I can't harvest it early on now. That's crazy. But I think this is like, uh, like repairing, repairing tools and stuff. Scabby, additional flavor scheme available. Oh, and quartz. So they added it back. So it, the quartz used to like guard the entrance right here. This looks mad nice, yo. Okay, let's keep going. So the scab. I think it's like in right here? No. Nope. Yeah, right here. So it just gives you a different type of stuff like nighttime mode and all the other cool stuff. And you know, I'm not gonna explain everything, but I was gonna keep going as we do stuff. Ole brothers. I'm gonna be heading over here. Here while collecting all that good succulent materials. I think I'm gonna put away my torch. I have no use for it right now. But uh, yeah, let's uh, hit this button to activate it. Uh, did you hear something that sounded like a big far off explosion? Honestly, the question is, what happened to the other kids that were taken here? Well, not the other main characters. I mean, the like the previous batch. Do we find them eventually? Or are they? Oh, wait a minute. Never mind, I answered my question. So we're gonna make our way over to the tree where the explosion was. Oh, I have to sneeze, but I can't sneeze. I think I wanna stretch to the right side. Cause I think this is a... Yeah, 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 it's on the back side of the tree that I have to go. And I'm pretty sure... Yeah, let me get some acorn. Let me get some acorn real quick. Yeah. I need this for a later opportunity. My inventory is full. All right, there we go. So right here, are they in here? Aha, <laughs> they are in here. Nice. <laughs> Glad I never moved them. Collects a lot of sap as well. And we gotta hurry up and- Oh my- <laughs> Oh my god. Nice. Alright, we finally made it to the- Oh, it doesn't 
open and close anymore like it used to. Oh no, that was always broken. This was always fixed. Can we ever get in here now? No, okay. But this is... This is mad nice. This place is getting pinker by the minute. Man. And we got this right here. I have isolated the source of the particle irregularities. They appear to be a byproduct of the shrinking process. Wrong. If I adjust the machine to account for their existence, it should be the key to the de-shrinking, uh, expanding process. Virgil, please bring up the readings for the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle traces. Ugh, that name is going to get tiresome. And while you're at it, rename all references to the irregular covalent SMPI 42Z particle to Raw Science. Order received. Raw Science identified. Does it require cooking, flipping, or g, -g, -g grilling? <laughs> no, 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 none of those. Categorization. That answer is not permitted, according to health code standards governing the handling of raw food items. Cool. Bro, there's a bunch of sap. It used to be just a bunch of crude rope right here. I think the spawn might be ra randomized. Um. Oh, it's getting dark. Should probably find somewhere to crash. Yeah. I agree on that, but we're gonna run outside and make our way to. What's this? Oh, these are the different labs. Dude, why does it sound so menacing? Locked. Unauthorized scan. Oh, there's there's Burgle. I got you. Come here, Burgle. Let me help you. Come on, get up, bro. What's up, bro? Thanks for the helping hand. No problem, man. I am B -B 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 Burgle, acting science manager for this project. I am also a robot. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. Okay. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. I suspect you were miniaturized by Dr. Tully's spacer device. Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to recall much of anything. A recent power surge has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. And what's worse, the explosion has disrupted my computing power. My memory banks are corrupted. Corrupt? Oh, so you lost every chip. Sorry to pile on the bad news, my new friend. How can I be of service? Where am I? You are here, in the Oak Lab. Built and used by Dr. Wendell Tadelli to experiment on all things small. Okay. This is the base of operations for conducting experiments in his yard. Who is Dr. Wendell Tully? Dr. Tully is a brilliant scientist and inventor. But he, he trapped his kids down here. How is he brilliant? He is also my creator. My initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook of the future. Okay. However, I have been recently promoted to acting science manager to assist with his experiments. No doubt my previous work experience has been invaluable to Dr. Tully. Although, now that I am processing it, I have not seen him for several weeks. And now I cannot recall where he went. It must be my c c corrupted memory banks. But where would he go and why would he go is the question. It seems you and I are both a little discombobulated. Given my best calculations, your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. In other words, you have been shrunk. Mm -hmm. It is likely this was achieved using Dr. Wendell Tully's spacer platform, patent pending. Shrinking can be a traumatic experience for tiny human brains, and memory loss is a known side effect. Hopefully your memory will return in time. 
So I forgot things. Did we like say we wanted to do this or that's what it seems like. How do I get home? To return to your prior size, you would need to successfully activate Dr. Tully's spacer platform. Spacer. Oh, that big platform thingy thing that we first saw. Unfortunately, my readings indicate it is inoperable. It appears to have suffered several malfunctions from the explosion. Dude, why did it explode? I am sorry, but it appears you may be stranded here for some time until we find a solution. Can we fix the scarpel? Haha! <laughs> Spacer. That is a great idea. Let me run a full diagnostic scan on it and see what we need to do to get it fixed up. Alright. Processing! Processing! Uh, let me guess, he failed to process it. Memory fault. Code 408B3000. Ominous Expected. OS script runtime error. Arg. I am sorry again. It appears I have sustained more damage to my memory chips than expected. Without those memories, I do not know how to repair the spacer. Memory chips. Dr. Tully used two types of chips to back up my memory. Auxiliary chips are small capacity chips used to store project data. If you find these, I should be able to help you learn new survival recipes. Super chips are special, and they are gold. They back up full directories of my memory system. Okay, we'll look for those. I'm pretty sure I know where one's at. <clears throat> wow, I'm pretty sure I know where one's at. If we are going to fix the spacer, that data is bound to be on a super chip. I suggest exploring the other labs in the backyard. Return with any memory chips you find. Dr. Tully has built many more labs throughout the yard. I know where the other chips are. Actually, not Each lab chips. Each is used for various experimental procedures. I can upload their locations to your scabby. But Stand by. I don't know. I know one lab. I don't know where the other labs are. Processing. Processing. Let me guess error. Error. Figured. Files not found. Code 632C404. Cheese and fries. The lab locations are missing from my memory banks, too. But we are in luck. I was able to retrieve the location of one of the facilities, the Hedge Lab. What's the Hedge Lab? The Hedge Lab is the observation center of the yard and used for research on arachnid webbing. You will find the hedge near the house if you head southeast. The lab is located deep inside the hedge, sending the coordinates to your scabby. Arachna webbing. You tell me there's a bunch of spiders over there. Try to find the hedge lab first, but there is nothing stopping you from searching the yard for the other labs. Except, of course, thousands of angry, hungry insects. <laughs> uh, please don't do that, Burgle. That reminds me. Dr. Tully locks the important labs with biometric scanners. You will need access for any chance of success. All right. Head over to the ASL terminal and place your hand on the biometric scanner near it. Give it a moment to sync your signature into the mainframe. Okay. Once you are registered, you will be granted access to the ASL network of computers too. ASL grants access to daily work items. Nay, tasks. Nay, quests. Yes, quests. I will reward you raw science for each completed quest. Why do you talk so much? In my science shop, you can trade raw science back for survival recipes from experiments that Wendell conducted when he was first exploring the yard. Log on to the ASL terminal over there and see what is available. Unless you have any other questions, you really should get started finding those ch chips and try not to die out there. I will try my best, but my friend that's joining later on, I don't I don't give you a um, full promise on that. He's a bit, uh, you know, sketching the head. You know what I mean? Kind of shoots wolf spiders without telling people. Have an exponentially great day. Aren't you going to show me the terminal? You know we have to go over here anyways. Oh, look at this. It's stuff right here. Raw science. Grab it all the time. I'm feeling more science already. My fingers are blocky. Achieve a super chip from Burgle. Okay, purchase an upgrade from the science. Find a hedge. Smithing station. And let's get all of that. Is there anything else that we need to do? 
craft a clover hood. Let me see if I can actually craft that real quick. I need a smithy. Kill Grant. That's locked. Why is it locked? Oh, button. There we go. And I actually want to head back here. Because this is another important place. All this plating and stuff in this game now? And I know this should be... Oh, yes, right here. This morning, I installed the borrowed lab modules. Another one of my forgotten inventions from the early days. I had such grand notions back then. The Kinder Science Mini Quick Little Chemist Lab Educational Toy for Children. But no, Wendell, we can't possibly put hydrochloric acid into the hands of children. The lawyers will never agree. <laughs> it's a good thing I never told them about the Bunsen burners. Odd that Ominent has been using my toy pieces in this way. Hmm. I digress. The lab network is now up and running in the backyard. I'm planning to dedicate each one of them to a different function. Main power will run through here. The Oak Lab is the center of operations for the backyard. The second lab is nestled into the hedge. Such wonderful views from up there. Side note, I'm worried that Ominent's shoddy manufacturing of the lab pieces will cause them to fall apart over time, but they will do for now. Learn to sleep. That's funny. One night of grounded. 